Yo, yo, check me out, check me out. These bars are for Lil Jimmy, alright? Uh, mm. Forfeit the game before the Spartan Beast takes you out of the frame and put your name to shame. Cover up your face. You can't catch his blade. The speed is too fast. You just won't last. Boom! That's what's up. Warning, the following video is so manly that it can make a woman grow a beard. So if you are a little Justin Beaver, proceed with caution. What is up my future aspiring Spartans? On today's video, I'm gonna tell you my secret. I'm gonna tell you how you can become a Spartan beast. Now, keep in mind that it might not happen today, all right? You might have a long way in front of you to become a Spartan beast in order to become a Spartan beast, but that day, that, w that day will arrive, all right? As long as you work hard every day, all right? As long as, you f as, long as you're focused on playing like a beast, you will get there, all right? Let me know your score, gentlemen. I'm gonna tell you 10 things Spartan Beasts do, and if you do these 10 things, you're gonna be a fucking nightmare, all right? Let me know your score. If you do below, if you do below five of these things, like from one to four, then you are a Spartan, all right? You're not a Spartan Beast yet, but you are almost there. If you do from five till nine of these things, all right, then you are a fucking Spartan Beast, but, if you do the 10 out of these 10 things, and as I said, it might not be a 10 out of 10 today, but it might be a 10 out of 10 tomorrow. If you get a 10 out of 10, then you are a Super Saiyan, legendary Spartan beast. You are a fucking nightmare. Let me tell you that right now. So we know for you do, gentlemen. Number one, the first thing you want to do to become a Spartan beast is you need to carry a riot shield, all right? Without a riot shield, you cannot be a Spartan. It's it's that simple. You need the riot shield, all right? I don't care which shield you use. There are several shields in the Call of Duty franchise. There's one in MW2, one in MW3, one in Black Ops 2, one in Call of Duty, Call of Duty Ghosts, and two in Advanced Warfare. That's right. There's the heavy shield, and then you have the Exo ability, which is also a shield. Uh, it's a shield that only lasts like five seconds but it is pretty cool and uh, you know it just depends on the game you want to play all right you play one of these call of duties you use the riot shield and you can consider yourself uh, at least a spartan all right at least a spartan if you use the shield because there's more things there's more nine things you gotta do if you want to become a real spartan beast number two a spartan beast always gets kills with the riot shield all right i'm not saying that you should go riot shield only which is very very hard and you're gonna die a lot if you try that I'm just saying whenever you have the chance go for that riot shield kill crack that skull smack that jaw right you want to make sure you don't let your riot shield get rusty right keep it oiled up with that sweet enemy blood with that sweet little Jimmy blood because um, if you don't use the shield you'll get rusty your shield will get rusty and you just you won't be able to use it all right you can't just depend on your main weapon you got to make sure that whenever you need to you can use that riot shield number three a Spartan always uses kill streaks that also use a riot shield right you have two call of duties to do this uh, there's MW3 which has the support juggernaut suit you pretty much equip yourself with a juggernaut suit a badass juggernaut suit and it has a riot shield therefore you can smack some bitches with that thing and then there's also call of duty ghost and in call of duty ghost there are three kill streaks that have a riot shield that are equipped with a riot shield number one the support squad mate which is a guy just a human right it's not a, it's just a guy with a riot shield but uh, I mean the guy is a beast to be honest I love the support squad mates and he follows you around and whatever you also have the juggernaut suit which is the same as the one from MW3 slightly different and obviously much more weak uh, than the uh, the one from MW3 but if you know how to use it you can do damage with that thing and finally gentlemen there's the AI support juggernaut squad mate which is pretty much a guy equipped with the support juggernaut suit and he follows you around it's pretty much the support the support squad mate the guy with the riot shield equipped with the support juggernaut suit that's what it is and there you go gentlemen you use these kill tricks and you use the riot shield at the same time and you can you can pretty much get yourself uh, a little riot shield army behind you i love it number four 
a Spartan beast always uses the throwing knife, right? That's what you want to use. That's the weapon a Spartan uses, the throwing knife and also the shield, obviously. You don't want to be using C4 like a little bitch. I know that C4 is awesome because it's so easy, it's so effective, you can get quads, triples, whatever, but it is cheap, alright? If you use the riot shield and you spam C4, you are not a true Spartan, you are a fucking, you are a disgrace, alright? You are a disgrace and you give Spartans a bad name, that's why people hate riot shields, because of those little pussies running around spamming C4. You want to make sure you use the throwing knife, I know it's harder, alright? It's You can't get quads with a throwing knife, it's super hard, but it's each single kill you get with a throwing knife is much more uh, important. It's you know the value of a throwing knife kill is much bigger than a C4 quad in my opinion. Number five, a Spartan beast never runs away from a good fight. In order to prove that you are ready to be considered a Spartan beast, you need to kill a juggernaut or a goliath by using a shield the riot shield and also the throwing knife therefore you gotta get two kills you gotta kill him one time with the shield and one time with the throwing knife it can be either the jug or the goliath but you need to fight one of these titanical beasts the most titanic uh beasts in call of duty uh, in the call of duty franchise the jug and the goliath are the the, the most badass ground kill tricks i believe and uh, pretty much if you are able to kill one of these motherfuckers then uh, there's nothing there's nothing above you right you are on top of the food chain and that's where you want to be uh, number six a Spartan beast always traps noobs in corners, all right? If you see a noob sitting in a corner, go for it. Trap the motherfucker. It's hilarious seeing them panicking, scratching the shield, clawing for breath. They can't breathe. Oh my god, oh, I'm suffocating. It's fucking hilarious. I love trolling noobs by doing that. But, but it's not just about trolling, all right? As a Spartan beast, um, it's also about it's also about teaching a lesson, all right? Passing a silent message, telling these noobs that what they're doing is bad. They should be running around like beasts and not sitting in corners like little girls, right? We've all been there at some point. And as a Spartan beast, you have the duty to teach these noobs not to camp ever again, right? Sometimes all they need is a push. And trust me, being trapped between a wall and a Spartan beast is a huge push, in my opinion. Number seven, a Spartan beast isn't afraid of getting fancy, all right? So whenever you can, go for a trick shot. Show these motherfuckers that you are comfortable with being a Spartan beast, with your class setup, and um, you're not afraid of trying something new, right? You're not afraid of... You know, pretty much by doing this, by being on top of a, of a rooftop, by being on a rooftop, I mean, uh, by being on top of a building and jumping down, throwing a knife while still mid-air, that shows that you are a fucking nightmaric beast and you're not afraid of doing, you know, these fancy moves. Even if you fail that knife, the enemy will be like, man, this guy's a fucking maniac, let me run away because he missed that knife, but he still has the fucking shield, so he might crack my skull, he might smack my jaw. So whenever you can, I'm not saying that you should be trick-shotting um, all the time, right, with the riot shield and a throwing knife. No, I'm just saying, if you are on top of a building and if you see an enemy on the ground, jump and go for that delicious kill, uh, troll the motherfucker. And also, if you can, go for a 360. Why not? Just go for a 360 and completely humiliate that scrub, right? You gotta show them that you are in charge. Number eight, a Spartan beast always plays the objective, right? A Spartan beast never leaves a man behind. If you see a teammate capturing a flag, go for it in domination, go for it. And even if your teammates are not capturing flags, the shield is in the game for, in my opinion, for helping you play the objective because it provides you cover and it also provides cover for your teammate and the shield is also a distraction it you can use the shield to distract the enemies and then your teammates from behind will kill them so make sure that you always play the objective because in my opinion the shield is in the game for that number nine spartan beasts do not care about kill death ratio if you care about that stat then you cannot be a spartan beast because spartan beasts die a lot spartan beasts are always in front are always the first you know the first player to be in front of the battle because you know they're not afraid to die i don't care if i die 
20 times when I'm playing like a Spartan Beast. All I care about is the win. That's what Spartan Beasts care about. And also, we also care about how many fucking knives we put in the enemy's face. But, uh, you know, the, the, the stat itself, the uh, kill-death ratio stat itself, we don't care about that shit, alright? Because, as I said, if you care about that, you, you can't be a Spartan because you're dying all the time. You're playing the objective. You're taking flags. You're capturing... Uh, you're taking... Um, tags you're capturing flags and all that and you're fighting juggernauts goliath and whatever there's no way you're gonna keep you're gonna maintain a good kill death ratio in my opinion right? it kind of depends on the call of duty but uh, it is hard and finally gentlemen thing number 10 a spartan beast always has an emblem and a calling card related to Spartans, right? You want to let the enemy know who they're dealing with, for example, when they are, when you are in the game lobby, sometimes the enemy likes to click on your name and see your stats and whatever. When they do that, they'll be looking at a biblical Spartan beast emblem, it can be a riot shield or whatever, and they'll be looking at, they're going to be looking at a, a Spartan beast calling card therefore right there the motherfuckers will respect you and they're gonna be careful when they play against you now obviously there's no riot shield in black ops 3 but black ops 3 has a lot of uh spartan related whatever calling cards and i fucking love them and also the prestige 2 in black ops 3 is a spartan helmet and i just i just fucking love it. i have everything in black ops 3 related to the you know related to spartans and i just don't have the most important thing which is the fucking riot shield which which is fucking hilarious so i hope you enjoyed this video gentlemen make sure you leave your score in the comment section below and um i hope you can uh, become a full you know a full grown fucking muscular with a <laughs> spartan beast in the future whatever um i will see you later peace Oh, and before I go, let me give you guys, let me show you guys the comment of the day. I always forget about this, but uh, today we have three comments of the day. Uh, I'm actually gonna, you know, instead of just showing you guys one comment, I'm gonna show you like, you know, the whatever comments I have on the screen. And uh, we have first big ED man, he says, when Tiago is on a date and he arrives at the girl's house, he says, are you ready, gentlemen? Um, I mean, he's saying this because I'm always saying gentlemen on my videos and I rarely say, I rarely say gentlemen. Now, uh, I've been trying to say ladies a lot more lately, but uh, it's just a habit I got. I never thought, to be honest, I, I just, I, I don't really, in my mind, girls do not watch Call of Duty gameplay and, uh, you know, maybe they do so i gotta i gotta try to say ladies and gentlemen instead of just saying gentlemen and uh, next we have a very nice gamer and he says you deserve more subs the other youtubers fucking suck <laughs> well that's a little bit drastic bro but uh, you know there are a lot of you know there are very good youtubers out there and um but i know who you're talking about i'm not gonna mention any names but i do know who you're talking about right and finally we have Cravens, and he says they can add a dumbass crowbar but not a riot shield troll arc i mean this is true this is fucking true but uh i love the crowbar i think it's, uh, it's pretty cool the iron gym so i i don't hate the crowbar i'm happy there's a crowbar in the game even though i don't have it yet but i've used it um like a few times and i love that thing and um fortunately there's no riot shield but maybe they will uh, add it in the fucking supply drops and maybe i'll be able to buy it by spending three hundred dollars or you know, 300 euros, whatever. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, gentlemen, I will see you on the next video. Peace out.